more bartending for me. I'll see you guys later. I'm Lisa, and I'm going to go through the men, and I'm going to 86 those women. The only fear that I have is how I'm going to sleep without my cat. Bye. Lisa, go on in. Okay, we want a good room, and I don't know yeah. where the bedrooms are located. We, we, we need a plug. Right, let's go. All right. Uh, no, okay. No, no, no. We got one minute. So. Yeah. This is well, I am Lisa, and I am from New York as well. And then I moved here to California like two years ago. And I am a crazy photographer during the day, and I am a crazy bartender at night. Uh-oh. And <laughs> she seems innocent, but come on now. We're all competitors here. I do not see any very strong competition, which makes me very happy. <laughs> Please raise your paddles if you want to see Lisa as the first head of household. Eight. Well, the house guests have chosen. Congratulations, Lisa. By a vote of eight to two, you are now Big Brother 3's first head of household. I love all the power that I have as head of household. As head of household, I honestly am going to need a wake-up call. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not waking up and I will be in there all day. I love having all of my special gifts. And I love my food and my special refrigerator. My cat, I have pictures of Herman. I couldn't ask for anything else. I was really surprised. Yeah, but you have responsibilities. Yeah, now, now you have responsibilities. Yeah. Yeah. Stop lounging around. Damn it. Take care of us. Yeah. We'll just call you Queenie. Actually, I wish I could have delayed the power for a couple more days so I can get a little more comfortable so maybe I can invite someone to share my bed with. But sleeping alone for right now will be okay. At least I have my bear. I'm surprised with this. So, oh yeah, that's I would have washed cool. you if I knew you were going to be on television. <laughs> yeah. But no, I'm loving it. I was only worried for like the first five minutes, but I'm going to be great head of household for the week. I'm excited. <laughs> I could get comfortable. Oh, like, it was so funny. Danielle looks at me and she's like, who? Lisa. Tanya looks Lisa. And then Tanya changes the vote because it was eight to two. Now that I'm head of household, in the very beginning, I did feel segregated. I felt um, awkward. I wasn't thinking, oh, yes, everyone's going to kiss my behind. I just have to move all this stuff. You know, want me to help? Um, I would love it if you could help. Okay. Just start grabbing stuff from in there, I guess. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Find your, find your drawer. Oh, my God. Um, how smart is that? I'm gonna bring your. What's your? Which one was your other one? Um, I already cleared that one. Oh, okay, cool. Well, just tell me when that one's done. I'll take it back. Thank you. People are kissing Lisa's ass more. Uh, not literally, but uh, there's a lot more. There's a lot more attention being paid to her. I think part of the induction You're... ceremony should be I get my bed back when I'm done. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Well, of course. Okay. I mean, more you know what? I mean, that's, Is I think... it because I'm gone for a week and you know I've only spent one night with you guys, but I feel such a strong bond. But it was, it was the most beautiful night of my life, was basically. It? It looks like uh, Eric's trying to work that door a little more now. He's spending a lot of time with her. Party in the HOH room tonight. Yeah. Had a household. Did you like a beer? <laughs> <laughs> I may be dumb, but I'm not stupid. Okay. <laughs> People do look at her differently for the first week, and I think she has a. This is the greatest time to be head of household. Lisa's a, the head of the household, and so she's a threat. Towel right behind you if you're on the bench. Hey, oh, E. Throw uh, the king a towel. <laughs> but I don't know how long that's going to last. I mean, that could be just this week, and things might get shuffled up next week. Let, let me and Roddy get in here. You're out, too. No dishpan hands for the head of household? Mm. I can't go wrong at this point. It's, it's a position that someone had to hold, and I'm glad that I have it now. And I wouldn't trade it in. I have to start somewhere to win, and this is the best place to start. Josh's only fear right now is that I'm going to nominate him. I wonder who's going to be the second one. Is it eliminated? No, or the second nomination. Yeah. I'm thinking it's me. He is getting on everybody's nerves, and he knows it, and he is not secure. Hey, Josh is paranoid, and that's all I want to say. That's... That. 
he's driving me nuts. What? He's paranoid. Okay. So this, then is everyone goes this is everybody this is everyone. saying, you know what? That was Josh. I get head of household. He's my first choice out of here. The idea to nominate Marsalis to be evicted was verbally Josh's idea. We had I had to pick someone to get out, and I just picked the uh, the ultimate patsy of the day, Marcellus. You think Marcellus has any idea what's going on? Nope. I think so. Well, does it matter? I think it's in your best interest as head of household to nominate the one person who will not even use this at a later date to come back to haunt you. And my personal but opinion is this Lori. Before. If you tell her before, if, if she, she knows you're not trying to f her. If you do it the way I had Don't said Don't tell me how to play the game. I know how to play the game. I'm just saying, but I'm just bringing up all my the- My whole thing is the whole reaction and then so, for him to be like, oh, it's already a setup. Okay, okay. I think Lisa could turn out to be uh, quite a handful. So what I'll do, I'll do it your way. If that's the way that works for you, let you nominate her, let her go about a business for an hour, and when the time is right, I'll tell her. Okay, guys, this is the first nomination ceremony, and there has to be a first bad guy. And it's been a fun couple days, but the game has to start. And with that, I think we need to start the game. Marcellus, you are a marked man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, as head of household, I had to have two nominees. My choice was Marsalis, and it was Lori. Marsalis, I have chosen you because although I feel I've made a connection with you, and I feel as though we've gotten along, I don't feel like you've made a strong effort to be comfortable with everybody as a group. Lori, I have nominated you. I believe that you have made, you know, your effort to be comfortable with everybody except for me. Very well. And those are my names and those are my decisions. And with that, the meeting is over. It's an emotional thing. It's hard to prepare for something that you know just might kill you. <laughs> but it makes you stronger if you handle it right. The ball that I did start rolling uh, did roll right the way I wanted it to. I have to admit, I'm very, very happy right now. I think my answers to my nominations of Marsalis and Lori couldn't have been any better and everything worked out great. I'm very proud of myself. I'm glad it's a serious moment, but I'm glad you are very professional. So I just want to give that to you. Thank you. All right, you're welcome, sweetie. Was not expecting Danielle to come into the head of household room to talk to me afterwards. And I don't think when she came in my room, she was trying to give me a compliment, and I don't think she was trying to make me feel better. I didn't do both roll work for nothing. I'm glad and I'm relieved that Jerry won the power of veto because that's more of a sure thing that he would keep my original nominations. Do you think he's gonna switch it? No, I don't. I don't think he's got the balls to do it. No, no. Hi. Sit on down. What's up? What's wrong? Did you see that look on my face? Yeah. Yeah. Jerry might change it. What did he say to you? He's all, I think it's a black thing, gay thing. I'm like, what? He's saying he's going to change it. If he does that, he's just causing trouble for himself. I'm playing the game, people. You know what I mean? Jerry thinks I'm on his side. Let Jerry think that. Kiara and Lisa think I'm on their side. Let them think that. I just have to ask you a question. Is that, are you going to put me up? No. You're Thank so, you. I appreciate yeah. that. Okay, then what I just told you, just keep it amongst us girls. Very well. If Jerry does decide to save one of the nominees instead of keeping the vote how it is, it, it's going to be a mark against him. Now, unfortunately, Lisa, I, I have to throw it back to you. 
when Jerry decided to use his power of veto, I once again had to be the bad person. And I had to come up with somebody that I would want nominated out of the house. And at this point in the game, there isn't anybody. I'm not too happy about this because I don't have a reason. This is turning into a cry fest. <laughs> 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 I don't have a reason why I want anybody in this house to go. So based on how I made this decision the first time, Amy, I'm going to have to put you up. Yes! <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> All right, thank you, girl. <laughs> I have participated in many competitions, and so, you know, you can't win every time, and you can't break down when you lose. So, yeah, I know how to com keep myself composed. Next week, we'll update you on the other former house guests, including the grand prize winner, Will. Now back to this year's house guests. Lisa is sitting alone in her private bedroom, contemplating her last night as head of household. Hey, Lisa, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Now, just a reminder, the other house guests cannot hear our conversation, okay. so you can speak freely. Okay, good. Well, <laughs> you just finished your week as the first head of household. I did. How was that experience? It started off a little rough. I was kind of sad. I felt like the rest of the household had a chance to really get to know each other and I was kind of pushed aside and set, you know, back in my own room. But after a while, it was great, and I really enjoyed it. It was stressful at times, of course, putting up the two nominations for eviction. Uh, it was a little hard on me, but I got through it, and it was a lot of fun. You did so, a good job. Thank you. Now, since you cannot be head of household for two weeks in a row, who would you not like to see as the next head of household, and why? I would not like to see Josh as the next head of household. I like him. I get along with him great. But I really feel as though it would be maybe too much of a power trip for him right now. But he's in your alliance, or does that alliance still exist? No, he is in the alliance. Okay. I'm thinking more so about the whole rest of the house. I think with Josh's head of household, it'll be too much of a power trip, and it might right. be too much negative energy. Okay. Well, thank you, Lisa. And you can rejoin the others. Okay, thanks. Lori? You are evicted from the Big Brother house. Very well. I was the first one to put him up for nomination. Of course, I'm going to have that little fear that Marcellus is going to put me. I really, honestly, my opinion is that I think it's the generation gap, and I think that if the generation gap wasn't here, this problem wouldn't be here. How did he try to fit in at first? He tried to play the dad. Yeah, yeah. And I heard you kids stayed up all night. That little joke he had going with me and Kiara being his kids. He tried to take on all the responsibilities of the house. We are ignoring him. And we are making him feel like he doesn't exist because he basically threw out his word and he's not to be trusted. We have to figure out boobs. We made the cutest little outfits could be. We took probably a good three to four hours. These are so not covering my chi-chi. And we go to put them on and they all broke. So we just improvised. And we used peanut butter. Yeah, we gotta cover a little more, girls. <laughs> and we took some flowers and covered certain parts. We'll be able to prance around all day. Yeah, baby, yeah! We had a lot of fun spreading peanut butter on ourselves. Oh my god. Wow. Come on, peanut lady. butter. I'm so hungry. We had a good time. We were completely covered. So what are they gonna see? The cheeks of our butt? Our eyes widened a bit because there wasn't much of them that was covered, so we really enjoyed that. Oh! It was a, a good laugh, but I squirmed a little bit. I was pretty uncomfortable. I would have liked to see them wearing a little bit more than the, the peanut butter, mm, certainly. Lisa's peanut butter started to fall off. We had to run inside really quick because the peanut butter was was melting and. Dripping. I'm gonna melt. We're gonna melt. So after that, it was the guy's turn. I have too many friends that are like Marcellus that I think he'll put me up and just be like, payback's a bitch. And then the fun begins. If I'm gonna be up against anybody, I'd rather be up against Josh. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, cause. He's, I don't know, I just think he, he wrote a lot of people the wrong way. You haven't really done that to anybody. 
Lisa. You were safe. Surprise! 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 And I don't care how he sounds like he would never campaign against it. That's exactly what he's doing. I don't necessarily feel that there's a girls versus guys thing going on. It's going to get ugly. <laughs> there definitely is a loyalty thing between Lisa and myself. Guys have no loyalty. <laughs> So I ask Lisa what they talk about, and I believe her when she says that they rarely talk about the game. The game is who you think is going to help you get further and further in the game. Make sure that a girl doesn't go this week. <laughs> <laughs> I like ta having Tanya in the house. She brings a girly environment into what seems to be a overpowering masculine house. But she's a little bit too surface for me. Josh, I, I, I see as a, a good person, as flirty as he is, and as kind of piggish as he is. He likes to pat the females on their behinds quite a lot. I vote to evict Josh. Tanya, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. I'm sorry things didn't work out. I'm really sorry that you'll have to go. Lisa clearly voted to evict me. I vote to evict Josh. I've really known from the beginning not to trust her. I don't know that my position is at all improved now than it was last week. So you think I'm cute? You're alright. You're not too bad yourself. Oh. Coming into the house, I really wasn't expecting any sort of a relationship with a girl, but over the last couple of weeks, it's just grown really close to Lisa. We've traded a lot of stories about our lives, secrets, things that you just don't share with everybody else. I came in here very strong and very anti-male, <laughs> and uh, I think Eric started to change that. It was just cute. I don't know. It was. I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't sure if he knew how to compliment a woman. I'm very attracted to Lisa. Are you a mother bothered? I wouldn't want Marcella to see me right now. She's gorgeous. She's got an incredible body. And she's a sweetheart too, you know what I mean? She's just a lovable type of girl. Yeah, there's there's fireworks and there's a there's a little flame there. <laughs> Don't tell my dad. God, I hope my mother's not gonna hear this. By the way, when I get comfortable with somebody like this, I just sit here and play all the time so if I get on your nerves, just shoot my hand away. That's not gonna bother me at all. But uh, you know, I'm a guy and she's a girl and you know, Adam and Eve and <laughs> birds and the bees and all that stuff. Right now, at home, I, I have been dating, and you know, there, there was someone at home that I, that I am dating. I'm totally in control with what I'm doing right now, and I knew that there were gonna be issues when I came out here. Eric and I had a conversation today in the hammock about, I guess, the situation that he has back home. I said to myself and I said to her, when I got home, we'd deal with whatever we had to. Right now, I mean, if this were to end tomorrow, I'd love to continue to see you if you could come visit me. I'm kind of afraid that all of a sudden you're going to feel guilty and mm -mm. take it out on me. If the guilty was a wall, 
I just drove right through it like night two and never looked back. You were so freaking cute this morning. What? When you were talking. I told you. Do you remember your dreams Not or at no? All. Bigfoot won the water, Bigfoot. What? In the ocean? My tough toes tingle. I talk in my sleep. I sometimes walk in my sleep almost every night. Oh, oh really? Whether I'm talking about a dream that I'm actually having. At some point in time, that peanut butter is lined up. There can only be one clump of peanut butter. Or I'm just having some kind of weird, casual conversation. Marcellus kissed me on the cheek the other day, you know. Eric's sleep talking is quite entertaining. He talks in complete sentences. Damn, nice job, guys. These guys are like ambidextrous, friggin' Nadia Konich or whatever the hell. Like. Because unless these guys are working on the side. It's cute. It's, it's kind of like a little highlight of the night, a little, you know, comedy while you're sleeping. Go sit. Go sit down. Go sit. Go sit. Go sit. Go sit. Go sit. Lisa, you are safe. Speaking from a strategy point of view, I believe it would be good for the girls if Marcellus went sooner than later. Amy, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Okay. I'm just kind of like freaked out. Nervous. It's going to get ugly. If he puts us up, he's fried. He's fried. You should know that his chances of even going to the next week because he cannot win head of household. The only person on his team would be Marcellus. Well, he's fried any, either way, and I think he realizes that. I'm sure he's going to throw a couple twists in there as far as the eviction goes. I won't be able to watch Josh because of the ass. I will go freaking nuts. Well, that's kind of a tempting thing. Like, do you go after Josh or do you go after the foursome? I think Jerry's going to walk around here with, you know, his head a little bit blown up. Eric and I have a very nice, strong, growing relationship. It can't be expected to just sit here and not feel anything. Eric and I were kissing. He stopped and just said hi. What? I almost started to cry. <laughs> he didn't know what he did. He thought I was going to hit him. I can leave the house now. I now know why I was put in this house. <laughs> I explained the situation to him. That has been my little thing forever. Any guy that can, in the middle of the kiss or middle of making love or whatever, just stop and say hello to me would send me over the room. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. I felt like a princess in a storybook. I felt swept off my feet. Please don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> I know now what it feels to have something real. starting to get more comfortable in here, which means that the chatter might start. I love her. I'm coming in. <laughs> My sleep talking is definitely starting to progress a little bit. Yeah, thank you. Good choice of word there. Schmuck. I'm starting to get a little more comfortable in the house. If I start on my teeth, I can't even think about it. I'm falling asleep quicker. I'm sleeping through the night, which means that my mind's going. My dreams are getting a little more intense. Like I just rolled over and looked up and I saw like a bunch of snakes. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> 
kissing or something. Eric's sleep talking has certainly intensified. I've heard him whistle in his sleep and said, now it's time for singing and dancing. Don't mean anything, just dancing. He's clearly a psycho. Or take that. Huh. Eric still sleep talks. You know, I am used to it, I guess. Hey guys, that's a salt layer under a layer. It was pretty freaking wild, I swear to God. Um, usually when he sleep talks, you could tell he's at a bar or hanging out with his friends and he's always in a happy mood. He's just a hot piece of ass right But a couple nights ago, he was making kind of scary noises. Well, I knew it. I was really worried it wasn't natural. It just freaked her out so much that she actually got out of bed and moved to another bed to escape his lunacy. Sorry. I hope there's some sleep doctors out there that are watching this show and then will call me up and, and offer me some insight as to what goes on in my head after I go to sleep. Lisa, Eric, obviously I nominated you guys. It's a game. It's not for nothing we've been playing chess. I have a chance strategically to remove the queen and a knight. It's simply, in terms of chess moves, my best ploy, and nothing more than that. Nothing personal at all. I, I'm fond of both of you. I think you're both great players. And because of that, because of the position the queen can play in the game, or the knight can play in the game, I have to play it that way. And that's all. And I hated doing it. No problem. Part of the game. <sighs> That's it. Um, those of you who still have a key, put it back on the wall. Then we go from there. Jerry's reasoning was very cowardly. I was feeling guilty that I felt I brought Eric along with me. This scenario is very heartbreaking for me. It sucks. It's terrible. I don't want to lose Lisa. If I won the power of veto, I would definitely save Eric. What are you doing in there, babe? Nothing. Huh? Nothing. I basically went to the bathroom after the ceremony because I wanted to breathe. You coming out? No. What do you mean, no? I'm going to open the door. If you're on the can, then I'm going to see it. <laughs> I'm not. Come on, you try to. <laughs> well, he goes next week, and we all know that. I mean, why do you guys think I was so upset yesterday? I knew you. I knew why you Because all I had to do was get that question right. We do have a new head of household. Jerry, congratulations. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty evident that he's not going any much further in this game. I want that guy to walk out with shame. Because for all of his bull antics in that power of veto speech. That is sinful. My soul is not for sale. He's playing just as dirty as anything. Mm -hmm. So don't tell me it's about cleanliness and moral. Yeah. And he goes after two people for sleeping in the same bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had a very strong feeling that Jerry was going to try to break up the couples. The reason why he didn't put up Josh is because he believes that Josh is more disliked than he is. I, I don't know why I feel like this. I feel like I'll be here to see Jerry go. Yeah, it'll be fine, girls. I know I'm not going anywhere. I really think that the girls are going to be around still to see some of the guys dwindle away. I was wondering if you could please tell me why you would put me up over somebody who 
from day one has kind of walked all over you. None said it, Jerry. All right. Who has said horrible things to you. Wake up, Nazi. If the power of veto is used, if everything goes as planned, then Jerry will hopefully put Josh up and possibly save myself and Eric. We're in the room. Josh goes and elbows your bed while you're sleeping. Josh, you know, pretends to hit you with the freaking plastic lizard. I'm sorry. I had a, one night I had to leave the room because I just don't think it's funny. And I don't understand what I would have done wrong over that. She wanted to make sure it wasn't personal. And I, I, it, I think it was a ploy. You didn't do anything wrong. Is this like a chess move? When Lisa told me that she really wanted to get the veto so she could save me, that, it really did touch my heart. I mean, that was just uh, a very sweet thing to say, and, and she really did believe it. This is like the concentrated version of courting somebody, you know what I mean? If you're gonna get along with somebody, this would be a great way to test it. I feel as though Eric is a special gift to me. I think I found something a little more special in Lisa because we really have gotten along like incredibly. I can't wait to be with you. I know. I can't wait to be with you either. Lily, go first. I'm not going to give you a reason of why you should save either one of us because I know that you love us both. And um, <laughs> whether I go or stay, I'm happy to have been here for the amount of time that I've been. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to use the power of veto. And the reason why I'm not is obviously um, for strategy reasons, and um, if I was to use it, I would fear someone else going, so I'm not going to use it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Adjourned. It didn't upset me. It just made me sad because it was a final separation for Eric and I. There was a chance that we could stay together, but you know, obviously that's not possible right now. Lee, I'm not gonna use the power of veto. I'm not campaigning in any way to stay. Um, I believe that there is work being done to get me to stay, and I don't want anything to do with it. Can you buy a hammock for your apartment? I don't really have any room in mind. I don't want to send Lisa home by any means, but if someone were to say, all right, Eric, we're going to let you make the choice. Either you go home or Lisa goes home. Well, I'm going to send Lisa home. And I don't mean that because I don't like Lisa. I mean that because I want to stay in the game. I, I feel as though, even though Kiara didn't use the power of veto, I know that um, we'll be friends outside of here. I just think you should move to New York. <laughs> You'd have girlfriends. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Lisa um, is not like my friends at home. Maybe a boyfriend, too. So. Oh, see, and you have a boyfriend, too. I mean, a lot of my friends are very unique individuals, and a lot of them are not like Lisa. We can pretend like we're sisters and, like, do things. Lisa has a way of speaking. It reminds me of every girl I've ever hated growing up who was always like, mm -hmm. It just sounds so weird. I have so many girlfriends, but they're not like her. They're awesome. And the people are real in New York. I know. I still feel as though 
Kiara and Danielle have my back. It's kind of scary thinking of a girl up on the top of the left, left. So you're not in a, in a position of feeling weird that there are no girls in the house? I trust you more than just being at those girls. Voting for me to stay in the house, I think, would consist of Kiara, Danielle, and rumor has it, Marsalis. Eric must go. Leaving the tie-breaking decision to wonderful Jerry. My goal is this, to simply get Eric out the house. If Eric left the house, then that weakens Roddy's stronghold. I think Kiara's going to help to evict Eric, too. From a closeness standpoint, oddly enough, I'm close to Eric. I've seen Josh talking to Kiara a lot today, and I can't help but to wonder if he's trying to convince her to vote against me. She hates you. She hates me. Mm -hmm. Well, I overheard some conversation between Lisa and Eric that I think had to do with Kiara. Really? Really. I'm not saying it wasn't true. If you're lying to me, I'll sock you. Huh. Like Who are you voting for? I gave my word. Please. Good thing I didn't give my word. You know, friendship-wise and stuff like that, I'm probably making the wrong decision because I'm probably losing a friend out of this. Kiara has changed her vote. She's going to vote for Lisa to go. Why? I don't know. That's what Jason just told me. I need your word. You're not going to say a word to anyone about this. You got my word. I found out from a very, very, very reliable source. Lisa's going to come after me. You always question the source. Who gave it to you? My source is Josh. Do I absolutely trust him? No. I, I just can't believe it. Vagina or penis? Loyalty. Loyalty is not about a guy girl thing. It's who you trust and who you don't trust. Why are the long faces? Because we're coming to the realization that we're going to have to lose one of you guys. It's going to have to happen sooner or later. Lisa and I were sitting around, and she said, you know, I think we should have a date. So we, we got ready around dinner time, and everybody was cooking, and the house was, you know, very busy. Oh, how's the bread? Uh, we go out there. Oh, my God! No freaking way! Welcome to Chateau Le Prison. If I may tell you to your table. Please, this way, sir. It, was, it was really, really nice. You know, a bottle of champagne chilling on the side and some gifts on the table next to it. Ladies and gentlemen. Sure. This is your major D. Uh, I'm like all embarrassed. This is awesome. Start of a beautiful relationship, both in and out of the house. I tell you something really, really cheesy. Absolutely. This is the most romantic thing that I've ever done. Well, we're gonna blow this on the water. Many opportunities to do that. I promise. I feel like there's so many things I want to say to you. Can I sit on your lap, please? Absolutely. Oh my God. I gave him a picture of the two of us in our hammock. And on the picture was, you know, the word hi, which is my favorite word now that he has said it to me. One of us is going to have to go, but I don't consider that the end to this relationship. Sheets are freshly pressed, done, rose petals and all. Enjoy it. Have the best night ever. Kind of nervous. Because you seem so much more experienced than I. I just want you to go crazy. I want you to just get wild. <laughs> I do. Are you sure you can do that? I know I can. Um, before I moved into this into this house, my life hit kind of a gray spot, and I'm so glad that I walked through those doors and found a beautiful family and this has been the brightest most beautiful chapter of my life and thank you guys for allowing me to laugh and opening up my smile 
and thank you for opening up my heart because I wasn't expecting you. Nice job. If Lisa stays in a house, it's good for me because I believe Lisa has a value system that is much more like mine. I can't stand the fact that one of my friends is leaving. I mean, I really love Lisa. She's a magnificent person I've really grown to admire her and she's smart, she's funny, and she knows how to really turn a frown upside down type thing. She's a really special person. I vote to evict Lisa. I vote to evict Lisa. I met Lisa here at Knitting Factory. Lisa is this breath of fresh air. She's just very, like, vibrant. The first time I met her, she had a huge smile on her face. She's just always happy. <laughs> the best thing about her, she's beautiful on the inside. She is a package, man. She's a spaz. She is silly, and she can be tough. You know, a lot of people look and like, and they think that that's it, that, you know, she's some dumb, beautiful woman, and she's far from that. She's very intelligent. I noticed uh, in the very beginning that Lisa was very nervous because she kept running her fingers through her hair. 30 seconds to go by, she'd do it again. <laughs> she'd do it again. Ow! She was sleeping with Eric, so. <laughs> well, well, I don't know. Isn't that what it is? That's what it looked like to me. <laughs> When Lisa hooked up with Eric, um, it was a jaw-dropping moment for me. I can work as a disrupt my family touch their way. I just expected Lisa to wait to allow anything to blossom. Eric is Lisa's type. He, I'm sure, listens to her. He has to make her laugh. <laughs> He's a fireman, and that is an honorable job. What's going on in there? I think Lisa will do better if Eric is voted out of the house. She would step up and she would have a chance to stay in the house. Hurt her, Eric, because I'll come get you. <laughs> Lisa could probably be one of my friends outside of the house. She initially was one of my favorite people in the house and then she nominated me for eviction. I forgive the members of the original six of which Lisa was one, but I can never forget. Eric and Lisa, it's like I have Lisa as a girl, and I'm a girl. She's my age. And then with Eric, it's that he's a guy and not a girl. But we're both from the same state, so we have that bond. Voting either Lisa or Eric out just doesn't, it just doesn't feel right. I vote to evict uh, Lisa. House guests, it's time to reveal the results of the vote. Shalom. For the first time on Big Brother 3, we have a tie. The vote to evict either Eric or Lisa is 3 to 3. Jerry, as head of household, you must now cast the deciding vote. What's it going to be? Uh, well, I was thought about this and thought it would come. and. I love both of you. Um, you know, as I said from the beginning, it's all about a, a, a chess move and, and what I think is in my strategic interests, and therefore I vote to evict Eric. Eric, the decision is final. You have been evicted from the Big Brother house. The decision came down to one person, and neither of us liked that one person. I lost a friend, and I, I you know, I think Lisa's great. Have I really connected with her? Not really. I don't know if it's hit me yet that Eric's left. I think it will tonight. I'm gonna miss you. And believe it or not, I am a strong person. And I'm gonna get everything done in this house that needs to be done. I wanna thank you for coming into my life. Bye. Are you okay? <laughs> I think I had a bit of denial. What, that one of us really had to leave? Yeah. 
Sorry you lost your friend. Yeah, so you did too. It's only gonna get harder. Danielle gave me this look and was just more or less, girl, we need to talk. Think about I vote to evict uh, Lisa. Uh -huh. Kiara had chosen to stab me in the back to change her vote. I swear on my children's life. With the information that I obtained, I am going to officially crown myself the Princess of Darkness in this house. And I need to seek out my own self as revenge. I need to ask you a question and I want you to tell me the truth. I was told that you told Eric that you couldn't trust me anymore and that you had no faith in me. And that if you got HOH, you'd put me up. I, I swear to you, I have never have even uttered anything negative about you anywhere. Really? And you know, I don't even want to know who said that to you because I... You know who. Does Danielle know? Danielle knows that I heard that. But Danielle knows that at the end of the day, I didn't go with that. I want you to know you have my loyalty like that. Goes without saying. Lisa, you are safe. I'm glad that she brought it to the table using my name. The Lisa thing is basically that she was not going to be loyal to me, that she was going to come against me. And I spoke to Lisa and obviously found out the truth behind that. Because it gave me an open door to approach Josh about what he supposedly overheard me say. So what exactly did I say? She, first of all, came to me and told me that you can't be trusted. She already said she was voting you out. Nothing to do with what I told her. I think Kiara internally is trying to cover her tracks. I mean, she's obviously the one who's all about, you know, deceit and lying when she votes to evict supposedly her best friend from the house. What I told her happened after she already voted you out. I didn't get her to vote you out. Roddy got her to vote you out. So she's protecting her ass right now, and I can understand why. Okay, but don't play with darkness, Josh, because you don't know what you're going to get. She's questioning my... My trust, I mean, it's such an incredible cop-out. Kiara stops me outside. Like, it's going to be all right, right? He's not going to leave. Everyone's going to vote the right way, right? We all gave our words. Oh, I feel bad for you. It's okay for me to suffer, but you can't suffer. I gave Kiara my word that I will not vote Roddy out. I need your word. All right, got my word. However, if people are trying to call, call your bluff, then it's best to back away and let them believe they still have power in this game. Just give it to her. We'll get her in due time. Lisa is learning a lot for me to keep your mouth closed and your eyes open. You knew all day this was going down. Josh, I'm on the block as much as you are. You know, I'm, you're not on the block. You guys. How secure? do you know that? Josh! They came to me and said, you're going on the block. You've covered your ass on votes throughout the whole day. I'm Maybe nervous out of my brain because what happened last week, the votes don't turn out the way you want. Please. Josh, all I know is that I, she asked me straightforward. She goes, she goes, if I put Josh up, what are you doing? I said, I'm keeping Josh. And she didn't want to, she, she, that wasn't her agenda. So she goes, you're going up. That's how into keeping my word to you I am. You know, if, don't be, as much as you might be pissed, Josh, I told her, I said, I'm keeping him. I'm I, on I understand, but then you took that information and helped secure your ass on votes. You're going to be mad at me for that? I'm not mad at you. Okay, it's I, I'm not, believe me, I'm not blaming you, but for the fact that's bullshit. You're the one who got her to f***ing vote Lisa out. You, you don't know that. You weren't there for the conversation. What's about me? I want to go out there. Should I? Well, you just assume much, that. Let me, no, no, I do you just assume, assume that. that. But that's what, you that's did what, assume that, so that's don't... That's what you told me. You can't assert something. You're I didn't assert that till right now. I know for a fact when we sat outside and you said, wait till the vote turns out, that, that you knew that she changed her vote, and that was well before I told her anything. Yeah, and I, I'm saying that I didn't convince you. I didn't lobby and get Lisa out of the house. You, we had, you, no. you had made your own choice independent of me before I said anything. It was all about, like, who had persuaded me not to vote for Lisa. The whole thing was just, ugh, 
it's so ugly. I gave you advice. It was certainly independent of me. You came to me the other night telling me how you couldn't trust, how I couldn't trust Lisa. It was clearly what your conversation was with me before I said to you anything that I heard that night. I know what she said, and because she tells you she didn't say it, after she knows that you voted her out, what is she going to say? Oh yeah, I did that. Are you kidding me? You know I did not influence. I did not. I'm not the one who got you to vote Lisa out. I didn't say you did. Kiara thought that I was finding this information out for the first time. To say that I'm the one who got you to vote. I didn't Lisa say you voted. I said what you said. She hates me. Mm -hmm. You're not using the power of veto to save her. Mm -hmm. I still know what I heard to say that I can't work with you. I can't work with her after this. Why wouldn't what? Why wouldn't I be able to work with her after what? After what did she, she do wouldn't to me? use the veto on you. That's bull. Because when she got the veto. I believe I went up to her right away and said, Kiara, you know what? If I was in your position, I don't think I would use it. You're juggling, baby, and you're dropping your balls. First of all, you shut the f up. You know what? What? I keep my mouth shut, my eyes open, and I know a lot more about this house than you think I well, do. Well, that's fine, so just don't, so don't put it in another the conversation. I mean, whatever. <laughs> when I walked away, out of my peripheral vision, I could see in these mirrors Kiara running right after me. Part of me was tempted to just shut that mat room door right in her face, but I still need her on my side somehow. This house is gonna get ugly. He's gonna push the panic button and he'll leave on his own. He's already packing. He's already. Did he already pack? Yeah. That's when okay. I went when I went in there, because all I wanted to say to him, I went in there and I was like, so what is this that you overheard? And he went into this big huge thing. All I asked was what you overheard. I didn't ask to know what the voting process was. I didn't need to know who persuaded who to vote against me. It's very simple. I thought it was in my best interest to vote my way because I knew the tie was going to come down. I vote to evict uh, Lisa. And I knew Jerry was going to keep his word. It's very There's simple. No difference. What makes a difference is he's gone, and I'm so glad because I can't vote. I keep going to her. Are you really ready to play, Lisa? But if she's really, really, really ready to play this game, she will might want to think about her options. Perfect score of ten, Lisa. That's right. I think I'm gonna have fun at making some people squirm. The new Lisa came about when Eric left. Let's see some. Okay. And when she got this special information. Think about the books. I vote to evict uh, Lisa. And that's when I got very scared for the rest of the house guests because there is a new Lisa in this house and I like her. Can I have a discussion with you for a moment? In my room. In your room. In your office. Sorry, Jer. Sorry, Jer. I'm Just not a innocent bystander. Okay, I want to let you know something. And uh -oh. you have my word on this. Last week was last week, and last week ended on Thursday. The story goes like this. It's very simple. I, I don't. You know, I don't want to hear it because I don't want any single thing not to match up right now and not to make me question the fact that I already gave my word. So I'd rather not hear. It. I know that a liar gives too much information, gives more information than you want to know. And Roddy's saying, maybe she doesn't like you. Wait, maybe. what did Roddy tell you? I thought Josh told you. Then I went to, no, then Josh told me. She lied to me several times to my face. It was one of the hardest decisions I have ever made. You never had to know who voted for who. I would have told you, and it wasn't that I was trying to hide it from you. I was just making amends with her, and hopefully, by the conversation that we had, it opens the doors for us to be friends. I tried to give my best acting performance that I could today in the HOH, and I'm just gonna have to keep it up. I don't know how to tell Kiki to stop lying to me. I can only tell her to keep her mouth shut so many times. You can believe me, you cannot believe me. Because I was kind of agreeing with Josh, I was actually contemplating using the power of veto to save Roddy. 
um, I have a decision. And Josh, speaking with my heart is exactly what turned you against me in the first place. I'm going to honor her easy week because my heart doesn't hear your words. Fair enough. So I'm not using power either. Sorry, but... I believe that Josh's behavior is a little bit too extravagant for me, is a little bit too loud, and it just gets to the point where you don't want to babysit anymore. I feel that Roddy was the master behind the plan to evict me when Eric and I were up together by using other people. Roddy didn't go and do it himself, and he had other people do his work for him. It's dirty, and I don't like that. Josh, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Lisa, if you want Amy to return, raise your red paddle. If you want Eric to return, raise your black paddle. Got it. Congratulations, Amy. You have won the right to walk back into the house, back into the game. You can go on into the house any minute you feel. I was really excited to see Amy, but the second that she looked at me and told me that Eric said hi, my heart jumped into my throat and I was even a more, more of a wreck than I was last week. I didn't vote for Eric to come back. If you want Amy to return, raise your red paddle. If you want Eric to return, raise your black paddle. His girlfriend, or the person that he's been with, is the person that kept him <laughs> from coming back and trying to win $500,000. That's a big thing. <laughs> I feel so selfish and greedy, and that's not a feeling that I want to feel. But if Eric came back, he wouldn't understand why I wasn't still with Kiara and Roddy. And his mentality would have just been, oh, well, you know, the four of us are back together again and everything would be great. And I just can't forgive like that. It hurt me what Kiara did. I vote to evict uh, Lisa. And it hurt me that I feel like it was, you know, Roddy helped it or Roddy was behind it. And the thought of Eric coming back in the house and teaming back up with Roddy just obviously didn't sit well with me. Eric, I'm sorry, and I just hope that you can forgive me. Now Roddy and Kiara could be scared because you know, what they did is coming back to bite them. I'm just glad to have Amy back. That way she could do the dirty work for me. <laughs> Roddy was the person who put Priscilla and Amy together. Oh, yeah. Blank bitch. And I shouldn't have worn the eyeliner today. Lisa, you are safe. I haven't French kissed a girl. Oh, no. Well, I said, you kiss a girl. Yeah, I would kiss a girl. Would you French kiss her? Can I get another bottle of wine? Yeah. <laughs> Bring it on! Well, I, I, Big brother, can we have some more wine? wine? We came to the dining room to beg for another bottle of wine. We were hoping that we could have one more bottle. And as raining HOH, she just needs one. Just one. Big Brother cut us off. We're all getting along. We're all off. getting along so well. <laughs> Alcohol works wonders, even with Amy and Kiara. You know why people hook up so much in bars? Because alcohol really makes you like people, even if you don't like them. Roddy gets me a little nervous. He sneaks around without really sneaking around, if that makes any sense. Kiara was easily turned against me and um, campaigned against me. It was um, really stabbing me in the back and it really hurt. You know, actually both Kiara and Roddy have hurt my feelings when it comes to that and it's left me in a really tough place. Kiara, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. She looked at me and she was like, why didn't you vote for me? 
that killed me because I knew how important just the two votes were, you know, for her. I'm having such mixed emotions. Kiara really hurt me. I vote to evict uh, Lisa. I don't. I'm so mad at myself. I have to let this game not turn me into a bad person, and what I did was so wrong. I vote to evict Kiara. Did you hear what she said to me? No. We should have Shikazaku needed to vote for me. She didn't give me her vote. But is that, is that enough for me to vote her out? Shouldn't I have been mature enough to let My it go? Vote? I listened to a last minute change that Danielle made. And I didn't listen to myself. You plot against people, you manipulate situations to get what you want, and then you sit around and cry about it. Kiki did you dirt. She did Amy dirt. She did me dirt. And she would have done you dirt. I know. I know she would have. I, that's, I, that's why I have to keep on reminding myself. That's why I have to keep telling myself. Four down, plus one friend, and five to go. I'm sorry that you're not here with us anymore. Um, I want you to know that I was really, really hurt with what you did a couple weeks ago. And I still love you. Lisa, yours. I don't trust the way that Roddy makes his sentences appear. I swear to God, there's not much on this earth that makes me uncomfortable. But what, what I'm very concerned of is, is sticking out to people. The fact that we are keeping them in the house, yeah, that's scary. That's not, that's not how the game, you know, should be going. I am always alone, Jen. Always. Last night, Amy and I had a conversation. A lot of it was about um, not being able to find dates. Like just, you know, I want that type of relationship where just one little kiss can, you know, make your heart glow. And it was really cute to see that side of Amy. I mm. have such this want of simple things. I want somebody to look at the water with at night, and somebody to hold hands with on the roller coaster, and somebody to curl up with on the couch and watch a movie. Right. I just really want true love so bad. Mm -hmm. Get out of here! You're gonna meet your match, girl. Mm -hmm. I hope so. Somebody. Something like I couldn't stand the, the old Amy tonight. It was driving me out of my mind. My father's gonna vote to get evict Jerry. I'm gonna vote to evict Jerry. Jason said he loves it if it's a tie, so he can make the ultimate decision. Give Roddy what he wants when Roddy thinks that you're on his side. Vote to evict Amy. Danielle is scared of Roddy. She wants him gone. Now, I want to go after Roddy, but we gotta make him leave first. Roddy, it seems, is scared of Danielle. He wants her gone. Jesus. Danielle Same information over. a strong player. She's a strong player. And that would naturally, you know, be an assumption. Roddy, I think, is everyone's biggest threat. And I know a lot of people are buckling under him and going to try to ride him to the end. I think about this game constantly. Constantly. Are you ready to play? Don't play. I keep it internal. I hold my cards close. I feel as though Jerry often goes out on tangents and talks um, at you instead of to you. And he's somebody that I don't think appreciates his house guests. And I feel as though he feels that he's above them. Now that Amy's back, I don't know what it is, but we have so much fun together. And we have great conversations. And she's actually, she's a lot of fun and she makes me laugh. Although she brings laughter into the house, I kind of think 
feel at times as though she clashes with the house as well. Jerry, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. What I really have to say to you and what I really have to say to Eric is that I'm sorry that I didn't have the pleasure of putting you up this week. You think he's worried? Yeah. Roddy has to be feeling a little concerned. He has to be sweating bullets. If he gets put up, I don't want the awkwardness of him coming to me for a deal. I mean, wouldn't you? If you thought you were on your way out, you'd try yeah. to get a deal with somebody. I think my son's gonna put Jason and probably Roddy up. I think he's up with Jason. Yeah, because then he can't campaign against Jason. Mm -hmm. That'll be low. You think I'll tell Jason first? No. Marcella's not like that. It's scary. It's really, really scary. <laughs> H? Remember that was I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, and then J. K. What was L? Just the bare basic. Lisa's fluent in American Sign Language, and just out of something to do, she's pretty much taught me the sign language alphabet. You are. That's where I get stuck. R. R. Okay. R. You gonna trust me? Hands behind your back. Okay. I've studied sign language for a while now. I had a friend of mine that's been in my life for a while, and he can hear, but his parents can't. And the first time that I like saw a real conversation between him and his mother, I watched it because I liked the beauty of it and the expression in it. D. D. Nice to know that. Mm. I've talked about signing and working with deaf children, I think a lot in the house actually. But Danielle surprised me. Sorry, it's R L C U V W X Y. Can you speak sign language? If you've been holding on to me the whole time. No, I can't. All I know is the alphabet. But that's enough. That's all. We should talk. I told Lisa, I said, you know, Lisa, we can really start communicating and we could have been doing some serious plotting. Sign language has become. I think mine and Danielle's secret weapon. In situations like the conversation that we had with Amy, Amy started telling a story, but without giving too much detail. I mean, things that happen that are just, uh, never mind. <laughs> okay. So who was that person? She goes, I'm not gonna say who that person is. And Lisa's going R-O-D-D-Y. And I went, mm-hmm, I know it's R-O-D-D-Y. <laughs> Did we ever do O? Yeah. No, we didn't. We skipped it every time. The only person that we'd have to be careful of is Roddy, because he's practicing it five, six times a day, you know, just the alphabet. It's ridiculous. Most people use O's. I'm like, don't teach him. <laughs> don't give the devil new tools. M-O-O-N. You go M, O, and drag the O. Oh. I'm trying to keep my sign language lessons to Roddy at a minimum and maybe teach him a word a day. All right, so teach me some more words. I can't just teach you words. Yeah, just start, like, just say that. I can't teach you wor what's words, <laughs> what's J. Lisa, how you do the devil in sign language? You? Too easy. So I trust you, Scout Diary. Don't teach the devil. Lisa, you're safe. Amy, I think, handled herself very well. She did slip into a coma-like state, though, um, after everybody cleared the table. And I saw how hurt she was by Marsalis. Amy, do you want to talk? I expected this. It's not the nomination part that bothers me. It's the speech. I honestly expected this, but I just didn't expect the speech. I just wanted to make the most of this, and I think that in some ways that's been misinterpreted, and that bothers me. I think that Lisa knows enough things about Roddy and his duplicity that she can't trust him. Devastated. 
Roddy has been flirtatious with me the last couple weeks. There's a part of you that has no idea you're even good looking at all. And it's so charming. She did say to me one time that, you know, when she goes in to vote, she just votes with her heart. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's all game strategy. Right now, if Roddy stays in this house, his two biggest threats are Danielle and Marcellus. So I am honestly safe. And it would make me feel better to give him a vote. It's been really refreshing to know that there's two sides of Amy besides just the you know glamorous Southern Belle. There's a there's a real person in there too. It seems like you know ever since she came back, she felt like she had to take over the spotlight. That she had to be the center of attention all the time, and that gets a little exhausting to watch. Roddy is a very strong player, and he would be able to get rid of two other strong players, being Danielle and Marcellus before coming after me. He's not a threat to me. And I'm safe with Roddy in the house. It's a hard decision. Roddy, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Roddy and I had a conversation before the live show. I mean, I wasn't gonna lie to him. He's like, you've been acting funny around me for the last like, hour. He's like, you voted against me, didn't you? I was feeling extreme uh, guilt and extreme pain. And I knew that Roddy was really mad at me. We didn't know my go, that's fine, but realize. I don't know, I didn't do anything besides being really good. He could be a cult leader. The people in the house made me feel a lot better about Roddy being a brilliant player in the house. It takes a personality that is only about themselves and only wants to see what they want. I'd hate for you to take anything in this house uh, seriously or personally. Lisa, you're safe. Lisa is the only remaining member of the original Alliance of Six. While the other players have been picked off one by one, she's managed to survive quietly blending in, practically unnoticed. Is this strategy or pure luck? Two of Lisa's childhood friends unraveled the mystery behind the woman who's been sitting pretty for quite some time. Lisa and I grew up together here in Rochester. This is her hometown. This is where she's from. When we first met Lisa, we were about 12 years old. This is Lisa's bear, and she takes it everywhere she goes. Even though it hasn't been watched in 13 years. I think Lisa has the biggest heart. The biggest heart. Yeah. She will bend over backwards for her friends and family. There are chances you have to interact with people that you blow right by. Lisa looked worried there. That's all. When Marcellus, uh, spoke to Amy when he put her up on the chopping block. She was extremely upset. And Lisa went up to Amy and consoled her. It was very caring. That's, that is Lisa. Amy, do you want to talk? I expected this. The game set aside. She's just a good person. Did the girl help <laughs> Lisa always Lisa gets hit on by guys. She's so beautiful. How yeah. could you not hit on her? Over the years, her taste has definitely improved. Hence, most, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> this is the most romantic thing that I've ever done. That was Lisa. That's what we know. Right. She had a sparkle in her eye, and she was always smiling, and he brought her out. She's not a kiss-and-tell kind of girl. Well, she wasn't. She has finally experienced what it feels like to, to possibly be falling in love with somebody. I think something could happen after the show. I think he seems like a very genuine guy. I think he really likes her. Um, I hope something happens after the show. So she can come back east. <laughs> you want Eric to return, raise your black paddle. I think Lisa not voting Eric back into the house uh, was definitely the smartest move because she wasn't playing the game when he was in there. I think Lisa is uh, surprising a lot of people. Danielle and Jason probably don't see her as a threat at this point. I'm keeping my word, Lisa. You're gonna make it to the final three. Final well, three. Okay? I think the best strategy for Lisa to win the game is just to maintain what she's doing at this point. 
She's laying low, and uh, people aren't seeing her as a threat right now. You know what, Lisa? I'm really glad we met. I was thinking the same thing last night. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think in the end, she's going to come out on top. How will Lisa vote? She's got deals with both Danielle and Marcellus. Will she honor her word to Marcellus or sacrifice him and try to go the distance with Danielle? Let's find out. Hi there, Lisa. Hi. How are you doing tonight? I'm good, thank you. Is your mind made up? Yes, it is. Okay. Please cast your vote to evict now. I vote to evict Amy. Marcellus, you are now evicted from the Big Brother house. I love you. We walked Marcellus to the door, and I know that must have been really, really hard for Marcellus. I was fairly confident that we were going to vote to evict Amy. Lisa and I never had a conversation about our strategy because I never thought that Marcellus was not going to use the golden veto. The fact that Danielle voted differently than I did it leaves me very suspicious, and I have a very bad taste in my mouth. Marcellus, um, I just want to take this time to let you know how absolutely vibrant you are and beautiful you are. You are a magnificent person and energy, and thank you for bringing that into my life. Thank you. By that being done, I've nominated Lisa and Amy. Lisa, I love you. <laughs> I do. And um, this is a huge responsibility on me. But I like to delegate. So I delegate to Jason to make the ultimate decision. I know he'll make the right decision. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, with me, Lisa. I have a very strong feeling that I'm going to make it to the final two. You have to expect the unexpected. Strategically, it might be a smart move to keep Amy in this house because I do not think that the other house guests, the 10 evicted house guests, would give Amy a half a million dollars. When I look at Lisa, I think steady, and if she says she's going to do something, she'll stick to it, and, and I really feel a connection to Lisa. I miss seeing Eric a lot these days. It's hard for me to even walk by the wall where the keys are because his picture's in black and white and mine's still in color. I just miss like walking down the hallway and just passing each other and smiling. Lisa! Oh my God! She was stunned. She did not expect to win at all. <laughs> I won something! So it was really neat. I'm really happy for her. All right. Tell the hey. internet that we say hello. You tell me today. Okay. <laughs> My internet chat was so overwhelming. My first question to Lisa is, what are some of her real feelings about the house guests? She said she would share them. Danielle, beautiful, strong, and independent but sometimes a little bit threatening and scary. Amy, think that she underneath is a very sad person um, and unfortunately very insecure. I just hope that this place will make her realize how beautiful she is. I enjoyed talking to them. It was such a blessing, I loved it. At this point in the game, if you left today, what would be your favorite memory of the time in here and your least favorite memory? My favorite memory would be when Eric spelled high in my peanut butter. <laughs> my least favorite memory, I think, was when I found out that uh, Kiara and Roddy had stabbed me in the back. Did anything ever happen between you and Roddy while he was in the house? If no, were you ever tempted? Um, wow. Uh, <laughs> I did spend, I think it was the second night, 
in the house um, sleeping in the same bed as Roddy. And I guess the temptation was there that first night, but after that first night, no. <laughs> Why don't you girls test Jason and do a lingerie show for him? I would love to give Jason a lingerie show if I knew he would watch, but that poor boy would probably run and lock himself in the bathroom. <laughs> Lisa, what are your real feelings for Eric? Do you miss him? I miss Eric incredibly so. Um, he is a beautiful, great guy. And um, I just, I can't wait to be able to hug him again. Is Eric a good smoocher? <laughs> the first kiss was actually pretty bad. Someone on the internet asked about me and Eric smooching, but I was honest with that question. You know, the first kiss that Eric and I had, it didn't knock my socks off. <laughs> but it got better the more we smooched. A lot better. <laughs> At the end of the chat, no. Eric was online. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> it's Eric. Do you want me to come greet you when it's time for you to leave the show? And are we still going to San Francisco? Ah, oh, I'm so overwhelmed and so excited. Yes, come get me. <laughs> come. <laughs> yes, please come and get me uh, when it's time for me to leave the show. Yes, we're going to San Francisco and a lot of other places. I hope I miss you. Oh my gosh, thank you, Eric. Thank you, thank you, both, 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 both. So to know that he's still talking to me and he, you know, wants to greet me when I leave and, you know, still wants to spend time to me really means a lot. Unfortunately, our time with Lisa is up. Lisa, we've had a great time chatting with you and thanks again. Any final comments, Big Brother fans? Oh, thank you so much for being my fan. Um, you don't understand how unbelievable it is to know that you guys are out there. Thank you for giving me America's Choice. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Bye. Today hit me pretty hard um, in a positive way, but um, it's still so overwhelming, but um, it's just... Ah. Eric called. He's like, I miss you. He's like, I miss you too, and I can't wait to see you. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't think Danielle can be Jason. When it came time for Danielle to put someone else on the nomination block, I wonder why she didn't put Jason up. Something there is a little bit iffy with me. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> me and him. <laughs> Working together. <laughs> Jason and Danielle could have an agreement to go to the final two. Me and him. Together. I've actually been thinking about this for quite a while. Danielle and Jason used to spend a lot of time talking and sitting on the hammock. This is Big Brother, and I think some of it has to be game. I'll got your back. You got yeah, mine. I got absolutely. And I think the two of them could have very easily made an alliance to go to the end with each other. I go, now, when no. you get down to that final three or four, get, whip my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> to do that successfully, they would need a third person. Guaranteed. I'm sure. So I think they chose me to be that third person. We're gonna make it to the final three. I don't if I am still here after this week, there is no safety net that I have to support me. House guests, the time has come for Jason to decide who will stay and who will go. Jason, please cast your vote to evict now. Um, I just was saying thanks to Danielle. Um, because this is a really a tough position to be in, but it's also a position of safety, and um, I'm Lisa and Amy both honored to have lived in this house with you for as long as we have, and I do care about you both very, very much. This week has been, in my opinion, the greatest week, the most fun week, and I really feel bonded and connected to both of you. Um, I want to
want to say congratulations to both of you on making it into the final week. There are six days, so no matter what happens, I'll see you guys in six days. And with that being said, I vote to evict you, Amy. And I love you. <laughs> and we're going to the fair. <laughs> Let me just cut in and make it official and make the announcement. These are familiar words to you, Amy. Amy? Yes, they are, Julie. You are now evicted again from the Big Brother house. I was relieved that Jason evicted Amy over me. Yeah. Bye, Amy. Bye, Bye y'all. Y'all have fun this week. We love will. you. We'll miss you. Really glad that um, we've become closer this time around than we were the first time around. I think you're absolutely beautiful and wonderful. I really hope that uh, you let more of the outside world see the real you because it's a really beautiful person. Congratulations, Lisa. You are now the final and most powerful head of household. Lisa, you alone will have to evict either Jason or Danielle, thereby choosing whom you want to be standing next to in the final two. Now, Lisa, you have a very tough decision to make. I'll be back in just a moment to hear your verdict. Lisa, please cast your vote to evict now. Um, guys, I'm sorry. Um, I was the first head of household, and I didn't like that very much. And I didn't think anything would be harder than that. But um, this is. And I haven't been selfish in this game at all. And this decision is obviously selfish, and that hurts because I love you both so much. Um, please don't hate me. <laughs> but, um, at this time, I wish to evict you, Jason. It's alright. Love you, Woody. That's fine. Right. Right. No. That's the game. Love you guys. Love you guys. Love you guys. I hate to break in at this moment, but I have to just make it official. Jason, you are now officially <laughs> evicted from the Big Brother house. I'm really happy that we got a chance to become as close as we have now. And it, it, the same hand, it makes me kind of sad because I wish you would have gotten closer a lot sooner. I love you, and I think you're a really beautiful person. I hope that you're always truly happy. Lisa has let other people take her to where she is, has gotten very lucky, and really hasn't done much to get herself to this point. Lisa, she didn't seem to have a coherent strategy. She was lucky. For me, Lisa's defining moment within the house was when she did not take the money and she wanted everybody to get mm -hmm. the phone call. Big Brother will give you $15,000. I will not accept this offer. Yeah, it was, a, it, was a, it was a great move that she didn't take the money. You know, it, it shows that she's not a selfish person. She wanted everyone to have that phone call and everyone to have that gift. I don't really feel that my relationship with Lisa is my deciding factor. And Lisa. Just fly under the radar and either Forrest Gump or dumb lock her way to the finals. Or was she actually playing this whole time? I know Danielle was playing the game. Do you have any regrets at all about the first HOH competition and the alliance, original alliance that was formed? <laughs> this is the six, guys. Uh, yes, I do. The original alliance has probably been the only regret that I have in this house. I'm not one to judge someone as quickly as I did. Thank you, Lisa. First question is to Lisa. When we were in the house, I absolutely loved and adored you. When I got out of the house, um, I watched live internet feed, mm -hmm. and it shocked me that some of the stuff that you said about me. I didn't have a problem with Tanya. Our conversations were just too materialistic and didn't have any meaning to them. <sighs> and I want to know what your true feelings are about me. I honestly don't remember anything bad that I said about you in the house. If I did, um, I do apologize. Okay. And now for Lisa, um, I have the same question for you. I feel as though I was fairly true and honest in the diary room. I could have said a lot more, but what I said in the diary room is what I was also feeling at that time. Excellent. Yep. Okay. How are you doing, Lisa? Good. About four or five weeks ago, I believe, uh, I had an opportunity to get back into the house. Did you think that that might sway my vote if you had made it to the finals? And how were you affected by having made that decision? I didn't really give your final vote much thought at the time. Personally, I didn't vote you back in the house because I didn't want to be pulled from you again. And I knew that being coupled up with you again 
would have eventually meant that we'd have to separate. Okay. I guess Lisa first. My question for you, why should I not vote for Danielle to win this game? I feel as though you should possibly vote against Danielle because the way of I was playing this was that I wanted an honest person to win. Danielle, what I want to know, knowing who you're sitting next to, knowing this woman turned down $15,000, this, that, and the other thing, why in the world should I vote against Lisa? You got, I'm speechless. Um, I was on a mission. I had my game set. And I did what I had to do. She's good. I'm evil. That's all I got to say. Lily. Yes. Hi. Hi. Um, I just want to ask you this one question. Do you forgive me for calling you insecure? <laughs> um, I don't understand why you called me insecure. I'm going to hold on to my first instincts with you and be friends with you outside of the house if that's what we're supposed to be. So, yeah, I do forgive you for calling me insecure. Good. Thank you. My question, oh, I'm going to ask the same question to both of you, so I'll start with Danielle. If you do not walk away with the $500,000, what was the flaw in your game that's going to prevent you from doing that? My flaw in the game, I'm sorry, Danielle, but <laughs> would be to be bringing a quote unquote Will to come <laughs> sit next to me in the game. Um, he played the game good last year. Danielle played the game good this year. And I fell for it, and I think that could have been my only flaw. Lisa, yeah. what was your most favorite memory of the house? My favorite memory of this house is always going to be me watching my growth experience as a person. Damn. I came into this house um, stating that I was going to play this game with my heart. And playing this game with my heart didn't make me a weak player. It made me a different player. And I'm sitting next to Danielle because I brought her here. And I'm happy that I did. Danielle's done some wrong in the game, but it doesn't make her a bad person. It makes her a strong player. And I'm okay sitting next to Danielle. Uh, I'd like to address you, Jerry, for calling me lucky during the last head household. And I hope that you meant it as a compliment because that's how I took it. Um, I do feel lucky to be sitting in this chair, but I'm also grateful. Lisa said that I wasn't truly, that she faked being my friend. Completely felt close to Lisa as a friend anyway. I, I, she was one of those people for who, for, to me, the generation gap was, was pretty wide. I know Lisa has said some pretty mean things about me. I heard them live on the internet. You kind of have to weigh out the lesser of the two evils here. I believe Lisa played an amazing game, and the last few weeks, she has truly shined and made incredible choices and decisions. Hi, everyone. Hi. Danielle, Lisa, yeah. you guys ready? Let's do this. Let's do it. Just a reminder, each key in the box represents a vote for the winner. One at a time, I'm going to ask each evicted house guest to pull their key from the box and reveal their vote. No matter what happens, guys, we will go through all the votes. We will go in order of eviction, which means, Lori, you're up first. Go ahead and reveal your vote. I vote for Lisa, which will bring Big Brother 3. Oops. <laughs> Lisa, to win Big Brother 3. Anybody want to guess? <laughs> I vote for Lisa to win Big Brother 3. I did it. I voted for Lisa to win Big Brother 3. <laughs> um, I, uh, gotta keep the trend. I voted for Lisa to win Big Brother 3. I vote for Lisa to win Big Brother 3. Congratulations, Lisa. I also voted for Lisa to win Big Brother 3. I voted for Lisa. To win Big Brother 3. I also voted for Lisa to win Big Brother 3. I voted for 
it for Danielle. Thank you. Big brother three. <laughs> Till the end. Congratulations, Lisa, by a vote of nine to one. You are the winner of Big Brother Three. Thank you. Nice job. are dying to get out of the house. Danielle, your husband and daughters, and Lisa, your father, are all waiting for you out front. So please, ladies, lead your housemates out the front door and go ahead and join your families. Thank you, house guests. We're going to walk you to the door now. <laughs> We've all been a bit Yes, yes, I did mean it. Absolutely. Lisa, were you surprised to win? <laughs> I did, um, especially because of last year <laughs> um, when I brought Danielle with me to the final two and, and, and she confessed her sins. Um, I was nervous. You went, yikes. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, she's a good player. And uh, she has, she's a great, wonderful person. Thank you. What about the vote? Nine to one. How shocking is that? I, I bet, bet a hundred bucks, nine to one. I was but you only bet a hundred bucks after seeing and feeling the tone when everyone came back to ask you questions. Is that right, Danielle? That is correct. But I, I just knew. I think I told Lisa prior to that. I said I'll be lucky if I get one vote, and I said I'll get one vote, and that'll be Jason's. But that's it. 